The central thread of most of my videos is relationships, but why? Is it because I'm so interested in women? No, it's because I find how you relate to things and people interesting, or because I'm interested in myself. If you listen closely, if you pay attention, my videos aren't about women, they're about me. In the relationship, in the dynamic between two people, understanding myself in the dance with something else, what's fair, what's right, what I can live with, what I can't. It's not about the other thing, it's about me. So when I talk about relationships and relationships with women, a lot of guys don't see that I'm talking about the relationship, the tennis match. They think I'm talking about the object, the female. With the majority of self-help videos out there for men, focusing on the object of women, the object of the laws, the object of biology, very few people are talking about the proximal you, you in this relationship with women. Most men are so outwardly focused and trying to work the thing out outside themselves, whether it's a thing or a woman, and they figure if they can work that out, everything will be fine. But they're often invisible in the equation, thinking that if I can work that thing external to me out, I can be happy. But you're always invisible. You're not part of the equation. You're not part of the relationship, the relating factor back and forth. I talk about the elephant in the room that most guys don't want to look at or don't find very interesting at all. It's themselves, you in the relationship, not just her as the relationship, but you. The amount of control you avoid having in your life, anything and everything but my own control, my own psychology, my own will to take a hold of something, never one ounce of control or even trying to and seeing what that might do. All women are the same. Okay, sure, women have female nature, but do you have to accept it? Do you have to tolerate any woman that'll have you? You're not just the cork bobbing up and down and being pushed around by a wave. You can push back, you can enact, you can matter in this equation. It seems to be always focusing on biology, on women, on pickup, on game, on society, on politics, on girl power. Always as an observer, a person trying to control it, but never yourself, never your own psychology as a man. In my estimation, most guys seem to be wanting to cut the umbilical cord to their mother by dominating them in this dude bro fashion where they're trying to control women. I talk about the sober relationship a man should have to have some semblance of control over his life or as much as he can. In essence, I'm trying to make men uninvisible to themselves. It's not you trying to work out and beg and figure out a way in which you can occupy relationships. Oh, thank you, I'm in one. Thank you, lady. Thank you, society. You're an integral half to this whole. The convenient avoidance of themselves by focusing on women, biology, laws, nature, society, politics, girl power. The relationship with the world and women and all that sort of stuff, that comes later, that's secondary. Your primary relationship is with your ethics and your own psychology. My videos are talking about a man's sober control over his own psychology. That's the relationship to be had. Let's be honest here. Most men don't realize anything unless they sharpen themselves or fight against something. Most men sharpen themselves against the world and their biggest Achilles heel is women. If you can sharpen yourself against women, you can pretty much deal with most things or a lot of things become a lot easier. Most things become very trivial. Mentioning women to many of my videos is the only way sometimes you can get men to see themselves. I have to sharpen a man's perception of himself to splash cold water on his face to finally see himself in relation to women. This is often the only way I can get men to see themselves. And let's face it, most people are lazy. Uh, most people scapegoat other people away from being responsible. You know, they'll say, oh, well, my friends and family think I'm absolutely amazing, I'm perfect. Therefore, I don't have to 
look in the mirror or look at my own values and morals. I'm great in relationships. I do relationships perfectly. It's other people that annoy me and they just they just can't do it right. Me? Look in the mirror? You gotta be kidding. Men are proud of sacrificing. They're sacrificial animals. They're proud of working jobs they hate to keep her happy, to stop her nagging, even if it's just for a minute, to stop the world shaming a man, even if it's just for a day. And then bragging to his friends and society and saying, I'm a real man, look how much I can tolerate. Look how much I sacrifice of myself. People will think well of me when I'm gone. Look at what I can tolerate. Look at what I can withstand. This is a real man. Look at how much I can lift. Look at this wild animal I can tame. Men are holding on to antiquated notions of being respected for being a warrior, a workhorse provider. They don't actually realize where they are at the moment. We're living in modernity with iPhones and the internet. Women don't need men. And they let us know all the time. That's why men are so frustrated. You're not respected. You're a clown that's trying to impress a princess that's not impressed. If you had a son that acted like you, would you be proud of him? I'd like guys to realize everything's a relationship. Your jobs, your friends, your routines, your hobbies, your diet, your health, even your sleep. And yes, women, your biggest Achilles heel, or for most men it is, simply by dint of biology. And don't forget all these other routines you can kind of choose, but aside from the necessities of food and sleep, Biology imposes the biggest relationship onto you automatically. That is women for reproduction to keep the species going. Everything else you can choose, you can be lax on, you can get lazy, but biology naturally gives you this adrenalized will for women. If you see everything and everyone in your life as a relationship you're spending time with, you start to be much more concerned with quality. And if you realize particularly every relationship in your life is your choice. Most of us are in jobs, careers, hobbies that we go back to, women that we go back to, in relationships that the 12 year old us chose for ourselves. And we're still on autopilot because it's familiar. Are you happy or are you familiar, gentlemen? Your relationship with your own psychology, your ego, your superego, your choice, your ethics, is the thing to figure out, not trying to work out some bimbo, not trying to tame some wild stallion and then brag to your friends and society, look at what I did, look at the stress I overcame, who's a good boy then? Women are a relationship you need to be careful of for your own health, but put more precisely, it's not just about avoiding them, it's about the quality of every relationship you have. So are you in a job, are you wasting time in a job that you chose 20 years ago? Are you in routines? Is the quality of your relationships and your routines and the people you choose, are you just on autopilot? Everything, gentlemen, is a relationship. It can seem cold, but it's a very good simplifier. Everything and everyone in your life is a relationship. I don't talk about women, and I'd suggest you do the same. Talk about yourself. It's about you. Develop your own moral philosophy, gentlemen, and try and stick to it. That's the challenge. You're the challenge. You're the adventure, not her. Your relationship with your own psychology is probably one of the most important relationships you'll ever have and the most important relationship you should be maintaining. Comment below, guys. I'd be interested to hear if you guys fall into the trap of always focusing on the external and never yourself. Like the video if you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up or hit the thumbs down if you didn't. Subscribe and hit the bell if you already haven't so YouTube notifies you of my videos and share my videos around on your social media too. And a big thank you to my patrons who support me every month and to you guys who have donated through PayPal. It really means a lot. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.